Hey guys, welcome back to the Sin series recap. Today, we're examining Evan Almighty, a fantastic comedy that will keep you in smiles the rest of the time. Steve Carroll plays Evan Baxter in this 2007 spin-off of the popular comedy Bruce Almighty, a newly elected congressman who is tasked by God with constructing an ark in anticipation of a flood. You won't want to miss Evan Almighty, which features a strong casting, clever comedy, and a touching story about the value of faith and family. So take a seat down, relax, and enjoy our review of this essential movie. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Now let's get to it. The movie starts off by introducing us to Evan, who's just gotten a new job as a congressman. His campaign video is shown on the channel as a gesture of gratitude towards him, and Evan Baxter signs off from the channel as a news reporter with tears. Evan and his family are traveling to their new home in a new vehicle. At first, his kids aren't really into it because they lost their friends, but then they get their new house, which looks about as big as the last one. Evan's kids are playing with a stray dog, but he doesn't want a dog in his new home. When he and Evan's wife Joan go to bed that night, she tells him about how she prayed with all of his children and what they wanted to pray for. She then asks him what he wants to pray about, but he says he doesn't have any specific requests, to which she responds that he has no reason not to pray. Evan watches the TV news to learn about his campaign, which he refers to as changing the world. That night Evan gets out of bed while Joan is sleeping in praise, asking God if he can help him change the world. The next morning, Evan's alarm went off at 6.14 though he set it for 7. He had done his shaving and grooming. He promised the kids that they would go hiking. When he goes out to work, there's a big wooden box in front of his door filled with all kinds of tools, but he just assumes that it was sent to the wrong address. He reaches his office and meets his new colleagues. At work, he immediately gets a good opportunity to work on a new bill. They had an argument about these bills. He reaches home with these bills to take care of, which means that he won't get to go on a hike with his kids anymore, which he promised them. Kids got really sad in this situation, so he tells them they'll go on a hiking trip on the weekend. The next morning, Evan's alarm goes off at 6.14 again, and when he looks out of his window, there's a truck delivering a bunch of wood to him. He asked them to take it back, but the delivery guy refused to and told Evan he is just a delivery man. To find out what's going on, he tries dialing the wood company's phone. Finally, when a woman carrying a sign that reads Genesis 6.14 appears on the TV, he finally makes the connection. He then finds a Bible and looks for the scripture that instructs him to construct an ark out of gopher wood, which is precisely the kind of wood that was just brought to his porch. When he steps back outside, God, who is unmistakably Morgan Free, is seated on top of the wood. Evan Baxter's story is told in full by God. He says that he wants Evan to construct an ark. Evan walks away, not believing that he's actually God, and goes to work, but on his way there, God keeps showing up as different people, such as a policeman or a neighborhood guy. As Evan believes the chaos is finally over, the number 614 keeps appearing. The newborn child of his co-workers weighs 6 pounds, 14 ounces. His new registration plate is Gen 614, as is his assistant's new extension of 614. God shows up next to him while he takes the pledge in the conference room with the Congressman Long, then he collapses and fainted. The Congressman Long wakes him up and asks about his day and the bills. God shows up again as a doctor. Evan again faints, and his colleagues were speechless. That night, when he gets home, he does a little bit of research on Noah and his ark. His wife enters the room and asks him as he stressed Evan said it's the bills. The next day he kissed his wife and cheered with luck. He said to the kids they are going hiking this weekend. Evan's kid pointed there as two doves on the window and said it's your lucky day. On his way to work, Evan keeps running into pairs of animals, driving past two dogs, walking past two squirrels, and having two birds poop on his windshield when he gets to his office. His colleagues asked him if he okay. As a huge variety of birds swoop in and wreak havoc on the place, everything becomes more wilder. Congressman Long enters his office and is shocked to discover Evan Baxter seated with birds. He then asks how the birds got inside. These birds are well trained, and Evan gave a ridiculous explanation. As Rita enters the room after the congressman has long departed, she is shocked to find Evan. Evan leaves his office and runs. He goes back home. But there are two sheep, two spiders, and even a snake waiting for him as he gets into his car. He removes all the animals from his vehicle and drives them inside while still following.
When he gets home, he's surrounded by animals and God shows up again. They telepath to a hilly mountain and God shows a scenic view. It was beautiful. The whole city was made by deforestation and removing mountains. They reach their home. Evan believes he is really God, telling him that he's been chosen to build the next ark. But Evan doesn't want to build an ark because he has a family to look after and work to do. God asks Evan that his motto is changing the world and doesn't know it. God said with one act of random kindness by saying that he gave water to a stray dog who was thirsty. God gives him a building an ark for Dummy's book. He starts reading the book. In the next morning when he awakes, he's got full of beard. He was surprised to see it. He tries to shave it off, but it returns as soon as he looks back in the mirror. He tried multiple times to shave it off but he fails. His wife and children are surprised to see the beard. The realtor he purchased his home from then knocks on his door to congratulate him on the eight parcels of property he purchased adjacent to his home. He certainly appears to be through a midlife crisis, which concerns out his wife. Evan assures her that it's not that terrible, and that he truly believes he has to construct an ark. Obviously, she doesn't take this as a step in the right direction. She just thinks he's crazy, but she decides to go along with it. So he gathers his sons. He gives instructions for a whole weekend and postpone the hiking. And they start their building process, which starts off with a montage of Evan messing up in every way possible after about a week passes. He makes injured himself multiple times by falling off the heights and nailing his fingers. Evan got a call from Rita, even rushes to his office with a beard and Harry by cowering his face with a book. Rita does not recognize him for the first time. He looked in a mirror and said what happened. She said Evan needs a shave, but he replied that it does not work. The Congressman Long sees Evan Baxter at the elevator. The Congressman Long and Evan have a business chat in office. Evan sits in front of an aquarium and fish follow him. He tried everything he can to distract them, but none of it works. Congressman Long noticed the changes within him. Evan's hair has kept growing longer and longer, but the arc isn't really getting there. They noticed more animals on the compound. So Evan's sons say they need some kind of machine to work faster and lift stuff. And just as they say, a big wooden crane appears with a note saying, Ask, and you shall receive. Some time passes, and the ark is actually starting to come along. He finished almost all the structure of the boat with the help of his children. After a while, Evan finds a cloak on his closet. Evan has no look. While having dinner, he noticed God appear as a news reporter and ask Evan to finish the ark before September 22nd, midday. Jones starts to get worried and asks him what is going on. She doesn't believe him and tells him that he is frightening when he explains that he needs to construct an ark and that he is effectively Noah 2.0. If you've perused this far, you're probably relaxing and watching the video. It would be a good idea to join Sin Series Recap right now. It costs nothing to subscribe, and it enables me to provide you with even more entertaining material. Back to the recap, the next morning. Evan attempts to redress professionally for work by donning a. He combs his beard and uses a hair product. But as soon as he exits the building, all of his clothing disappear, leaving him completely naked. He then sported his robe once more and covers it with the suit. He now resembles the Hulk when dressed in a suit. Evan's tardiness to work and potential termination have Rita and his co-worker concerned for him. As Congressman Long calls his name, he rises up since he is being introduced as a new congressman on television when he arrives at work. He returns to his full Noah getup once his suit reappears. Everyone in the room got stumbled including his wife and children. Then a bunch of animals and birds get in and are surrounded by Evan. Congressman Long asked to get rid of animals and birds but Evan refused to do that because they are not trained. Evan said the animals and birds are here to be saved from a flood that is going to happen on September 22nd at midday. He tells everyone in the room that it's all happening because God told him to build an ark. Evan Baxter is suspended as congressman. He has been removed by the security guards. When Evan returns home, his wife and children are waiting for him with their suitcases packed and ready to travel to Canada to stay with Joan's parents. Evan explains to them God tried to get him fired so he gets more time in building an ark. He tries to stop them, but Joan tells him she thinks he needs help and they leave. Evan continues building his ark which is now international news. The animals follow Evan Baxter's work. His colleagues and Rita give an interview about Evan's new look and character change. 
Evan continues his work on an arc. There's always a crowd looking at him from a distance. He alone starts working continuously. He shares his food with the dog and animals gathered there. He spent his day and night in the ark. Joan is seated in a cafe with the kids, who are missing their dad. And he's being filmed by news crews on Channel 24. While the kids go to the bathroom, God has a conversation with Joan without letting her know it's him. And he explains to her how crucial it was for Noah in the Bible that his family remained by his side. Before leaving, God gives her the refill that she asked for. So she decides to take the kids and go back to Evan. Joan and the kids wonder how Evan is able to build such a huge ark by himself. After seeing Evan, they are all surprised he got an old Gandalf look with white hair and a cloak on it. He hugs his kids and kisses them. And then she tells him how he's in violation of a bunch of rules. So if he doesn't figure it out, the city will take it down on the 22nd, which is supposed to be the day of the flood. They were all got surprised by seeing a whole bunch of animals gathered around the ark. So they all work to get the ark done in time and even get help from the animals. The elephant, giraffe, crow, and monkey, every animal, and birds helps Evan to build an ark as soon as possible. The TV news channel cowers Evan 24 by 7. On the 22nd, the ark is finally done. His colleagues and Rita visited Evan to talk about the land bills that are concerned with Congressman Long since he acquired the land by him. That is the reason for sudden land bills, to cower him up. Evan commands all the animals and birds to board the ark with a significant gesture. Then the police and Congressman Long show up to destroy the boat. The Congressman Long and Evan had a talk about land bills and taking down the ark by himself. But Evan don't agree with the terms set by Mr. Long. He asked the police to take the ark down. The police gave him two minutes to get off the ark. Joan convinces Evan to get off the boat by thinking of their kids. But just before Evan and his family get off, a huge cloud covers the whole city, and all of a sudden everyone starts getting a little nervous, but everyone still ignores Evan, who's saying they should get on the ark. The rain then stops, and everyone laughs at Evan again until he realizes there won't be a storm. But the dam stopping the river is about to break. A tremendous shock wave appears in the atmosphere, and dam walls crack. Evan shouts to people that the dam is going to break, so everyone should enter the ark. When it does, everyone panics, and all of a sudden they all run to get on the ark. Police help everyone reach the ark, which ends up saving everyone. The ark hits Evan Baxter's new home and is completely destroyed, as is the neighbor's home too. The ark took a jump from a height, it merely took everyone's breath out. The ark is about to hit a bridge and everyone got panic. Evan asks God for help and God divides the water into two before hitting the bridge and change the direction of the ark. The birds follow the ark from behind. The flood destroys a large part of the city until the ark stops it from running into the White House where Congressman Long approves the land bills. After seeing the ark rushes to White House everyone including the Congressman Long run from there. The Ark stops in the White House. The Congressman Long was questioned for the corruption he made in the dam. The officials have taken care of Mr. Long. The animal's natural habitat has been destroyed due to flood and is questioned where to. This proves to everybody that Evan was right all along and he saved hundreds of lives. Suddenly, there's a rainbow. Evan and his family finally go on their hiking trip with the dog. This is when Evan meets God again telling him he's proud of him, appreciates Evan and that he changed the world with one act of random kindness at a time referring to Evan's family and dog. God writes the ark in mud, and then they do their dance they laugh and smile and God disappeared in a moment. He sees a white dove sitting on the branch of a tree and the dove fly away. Evan walks with his family, and there the movie ends.